Layoffs are horrible. We will continue to face that through next year. Over the last few months, the likes of Twitter, Meta, Shopify, Stripe, and other startups have collectively laid off over 50,000 people in the US and more than 15,000 Indians alone. Earlier this year, Y Combinator, in a letter to its founders, warned about things not looking good and asked startups to prepare for the worst. Well, it's here. Layoffs have now become a sad reality. And the worst part? They might become the norm for the short term. But now that we are here, the question is, can you find a silver lining in it? Can you take advantage of it to create much better outcomes for yourself? And ultimately, can layoffs be good for you? Let's dig into it. Investopedia defines layoffs as termination of employment for reasons unrelated to the employee's performance. Unrelated. But the cause for severe anxiety, stress, and pressure. In short, accumulation of bad management decisions leading to the worst possible outcome for employees. If you scroll through the layoff announcements by companies, there's one common theme. We screwed up. Forgive us. They have the similar net reasons. Micro trends, bad long-term planning, poor fund allocation, and the same spiel. They're looking at the macro scenario, but it's their employees that are facing the brunt. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, governments deploying anti-recessionary measures, the strengthening of the US dollar, all of these have had significant impacts in startups' ability to raise money. According to Inc. 42, Indian startups could only raise $1.3 billion in October compared to $4.6 billion in January and 15,708 employees have already been laid off by 44 startups so far. The message is clear. Cut costs and increase runway. Suddenly, my system went off. Like, my system just shut down. This is Vasudha Pasari. She was laid off when Better announced its second round of layoffs in 2022. A founder who's now infamous for his lead Zoom recording. Your employment here is terminated. So there were a lot of rumors before it actually happened. I was already uh, hearing people from my team getting laid off and then suddenly my system went off and uh, there wasn't any communication till then. Layoffs are extremely helpless situations. So we zoomed out and created this four-step framework to really help you structure this period before moving on to your next role. First, prioritize mental health. The time leading up to the layoff is as much or actually more stressful than the period after it. The thought of you surviving it and then not is messed up. Taking a break and talking to someone really helps. Second, a decision framework to think about your next steps. Went to LinkedIn, posted that I'm open to work and basically looking for jobs. My first contact was to reach out to friends who I know are probably working right now and in the same or a similar position. So yeah, that was what I took up as my next step that, okay, now this has happened. Severance and all is going to come when it has to, but I have to get back on my feet again. I have to start working because if I take this period as a very laid back sort of a period, it could be harmful for me personally, because then I could get used to this sort of a living and I did not want to go for that. It's super tempting to accept any offers that might come your way during this period. but. The decision you take here will actually influence your next year or two. It's crucial you ask yourself four questions. What is your superpower skill? What is your non-negotiable in life? Which part of the last job did you love the most? And which part did you hate? The thumb rule here is that your superpower will help you in wedging into the next role. The concept of wedging is interesting. Like a wedge, you have one pointed skill that will get your foot into the door and you use that to expand and really grow into the ideal role that you want. Your non-negotiable should be broadly met. For example, if it's about working X number of hours or working with a zero to one team, you should be able to lead with that. And of course, your next role should have more of what you love and less of what you hate. Third, planning for finances. Over the last year, Shopify and Stripe have been praised for their generous severance packages. But does severance really help? Does it make a difference? 
if i talk about the severance pay and how it helped me it did help i would not lie because uh, when you know that there's a certain amount of money that has come into your bank account it does give you a lot of satisfaction it's crucial to pace your savings and expenditures for the next 6 months transferring 6 months of monthly expense to secure bank account is ideal essentially only use this account strictly to pay recurring bills also stopping usage of credit cards and other loan instruments could really help during this time if you look at the next steps now the present becomes very simple to handle so if you look at your next steps if you plan according if you already start your job search that helps so you look at your cv you update your cv from time to time you understand what are the skills that you can add because the soft skills the other courses that you take they, these do help to be honest so if you have them on your cv while you are at a particular job that helps using this opportunity to really get active on linkedin working towards your personal brand putting out content will really help set you apart plus adding relevant experience to your profile and cv using the star method will position you as a structured thinker but being patient throughout the process is really the key here during those 3 months i was pretty furious that why did it have to happen but then now that i'm looking back at it i'm i'm okay with it it does work out for the better we can't reiterate it enough layoffs are a result of a series of supremely bad management decisions and it's not your fault but is the survival of the fittest out there and we live to fight another day thank you so much for watching the video to deal with the ongoing trend of layoffs we at growthex have launched project phoenix a holistic attempt to help everyone who have been affected by them the only way to get through this is to help each other and the 1500 plus growthex members are walking the talk the link to project phoenix is in the description let's get through this together see you on the other side